Hello everyone, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love helping moms by sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So today I'm here to share with you all my meal plan for January. This year I decided, let me try to do a meal plan a month out, which I've done this many times before, but usually my meal plan is a week in advance. I had an outdated desk planner and I'm using the outdated desk planner to write down my meal for the month and then I'll transfer those meals onto my planner for the week. Um, it also lets me look at what ingredients that I need so I'll write down the list of ingredients, see what I have on hand and when I go grocery shopping I'll make sure I have everything that we need. All right, so, so January starts on Saturday, the 1st. So what we be having for the New Year's is fried pork chops. I'm making black eyed peas and cornbread. Also some sweet potatoes and kale. So that's our menu, which I'm doing this video on Friday. Saturday, that's our menu for the 1st. For the 2nd, on Sunday, I have a filet mignon, asparagus with mashed potatoes. Monday the 3rd, Spaghetti salad with red sauce. <laughs> so it'll be spaghetti pasta with um, red sauce and an Alfredo sauce. Because my 14 year old has a little, um, she gets acid reflux when I do like spaghetti sauce. So I'll make some, uh, one batch of spaghetti and I'll split it in half. Have Alfredo for one and red sauce for the other. For Tuesday, we have chicken quesadillas, Spanish rice. Now, Another thing that I have been doing for the past year, I'll have a day of the week is a certain type of meal. So on Mondays, I have one pot meal. Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Thursday is crock pot meals. And Friday, leftovers. Now, also, I, I'm always flexible. If we have too much of something left over, we're going to eat it. And I won't have to cook that day. So that's how I also mix things up a bit. So Wednesday... The fifth, meatloaf, potatoes, and corn. Thursday, chili. Friday, Kirkland hot dogs, chicken tenders, and tater tots. For Saturday, grilled cheese. Sunday, corned beef, cabbage, and macaroni. Monday, stewed chicken over rice and Brussels sprouts. Tuesday, again, which is a taco Tuesday, I'll do enchiladas. Wednesday, burger and fries. Thursday, lasagna, another crock pot. I'll do... I've been doing my um, lasagna in a crock pot for a while now, so lasagna is another crock pot day. Friday, sandwiches. Saturday, Italian beef. Sunday the 16th, oxtail stew. Monday, pasta, broccoli, chicken with Alfredo. Um, since I have a one pot meal, so what I'll do, I'll cook up some chicken, add the pasta, the broccoli in it, more so toward the last with some heavy whipping cream, you know, different seasonings. So that's my one pot meal. Tuesday, street tacos, which are just the mini taco shells. Wednesday, burger spring rolls. So like, it's like an egg roll, but it has like a taste of a burger. I'll use um, ground turkey. So that's um for that day. Thursday, wild rice, um, cream of chicken soup. Friday, pizza. Saturday BLT, so bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. Sunday, dressing, Cornish hens, kale, and macaroni. I didn't do the traditional for Thanksgiving, so we'll be doing a little mix, something different here toward the end of the month. Another one-pot meal, so that's beans and rice and cornbread. Beans, that's one pot. <laughs> well, rice is another pot, but combine them together. And again, Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, nachos loaded with beans. Wednesday, jumbo meatballs and potatoes. Thursday, beef stew. Friday, tuna casserole. Saturday, a large salad. And usually we'll like tuna on it or grilled chicken, but I'm going to do tuna. And then Jayla likes a spinach salad with grilled chicken. And the last two days of the month, we have fish and spaghetti on Sunday. And on Monday, fried rice another one pot meal so i hope this menu gave you some ideas on some meals you can add to your meal plan for the week or for the month um, if you have any expired planners 
use them they don't have to go to waste so i was glad to have this like i say i'm i'm a visual person so a lot of things i have to see at a broad scope so i'll know you know what's going on so this was really helpful and it didn't take me for but 15 minutes like i said we were sitting down at the table and i was just adding stuff to the to the menu didn't take no time before it would take me hours to make a menu what's you know like uh-uh that's not how you make that's too much work so it didn't take no time i sat down with the family we made the menu and i'll make sure we do that every month gives everybody a chance to give their input and make sure everybody is satisfied right so i like to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye